<sighs> All right, I think this thing's working. I'm not sure. I guess we'll find out. All right. Let me turn this off real quick. All right, you guys hear me okay? Yeah, I just I cut the music off. Yeah, I might just make a video instead and upload it. I don't know if uh, this is going to work out. That train's air brake. Holy shit. That's not good. <laughs> I see what you did there. That's pretty good. That is pretty good. Let me see if I can't. Screw with this here audio. Perhaps that's a little bit better right there in the green. Yeah, it looks good. All right. All right, so I'm making a new Jayhawk here. Um, it's kind of getting tired of the old design. Kind of just wanted to get back into it. Uh, but as you can see, this is how I build shit. Um, Apologize for the language. I'll try to keep that to a minimum. Anyway, so this is how I build things. Um, basically, I start with a picture that I can find on the internet, uh, cut it down to the size and scale that I want it. So, in this case, this is, I think, 70 something blocks long from nose to tail. Yeah, 78 blocks long um, from nose to tail. So, essentially, what I do is if you haven't found the link, the tagged link, um, Stormworks Rising at Paint PHP. I'll drop it in here real quick. That little link right there will bring you to a toolbox where you can upload a photo, size limited, um, and that's generally the width of the picture that's going to be imported as a block um, into the game. Uh, basically, you'll just load it into your Stormworks Vehicles folder, and then it'll show up as a paint block, or actually several paint blocks. Um, the thing you have to remember, though, is when you get the picture off the internet, you've got to go into, like, paint or something, um, and you got to edit the size of pixels, so that way the size of pixels matches up with the size of pixels in each one of these blocks. Um, so each one of these tiny blocks, we zoom in here, should be I believe 10 so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 um, I'm sorry 9 um, so it's 9 blocks wide and 9 blocks tall um, so you just gotta remember that so basically what I do is if I've got 78 blocks here alright I'm gonna do 78 times 9 and that's gonna be my sizing on that website that I just posted for the link. Um, which just says size limit and block zero unscaled. You're gonna want to type in whatever 78 times 9 is. I'm not good at math, so I just use a calculator on my phone. Because yeah. I just do. I'm terrible at math. Anyway, so essentially once you import it into the game, you can cut, paste, you use your selection grid tool to cut and paste to move things around and get it to where you want it. Um, and then just kind of start to build off of the picture while maintaining your perfect scaling. 
Um, try to keep it as close as you can. It's kind of difficult. We all know how stormers can be with these these single block pyramids and, and things. Um, so that's the easy way to build a creation or to start building a creation. Um, at some point, you're going to have to get rid of all these paint blocks. The more paint blocks you have, the more laggy it's going to be. So you don't want to leave those inside the fuselage or the helo or boat or whatever it is you might be building. You definitely want to get rid of those. You'll notice that the bigger it is, the more laggy it becomes. So I don't know what that means. Only National 45. Is that like a scale of how good you are at math? Because if it is, then I'm, I'm a negative 4 to 5. Without a doubt. So, I don't know. Uh, but yeah. So I'm going to kind of keep building here. Um, feel free to stick around if you'd like. I'm going to try to get some of this done today. Um, I'm going to try to include in this helo some new... Um, some of those new... Neat little, whatchamacallit, blocks, the, uh, the screens and things like that. I'm not good with the whole Lewis scripting thing. Like I said, I'm bad at math there for him. I'm definitely bad at, at scripting. I just put blocks together and make them look realistic. Um, secondary, it's greater than national. This is Scotland. Okay, that's cool. So you're from Scotland. Well... Scotland seems like a cool place, but yeah, no, definitely hang out, and uh, I'll talk your ear off for a little while here. All right, um, actually, let me go ahead and do this real quick. Let me, is there a link to this shit? There we go. Let me post that in here. RG streams and advertisements. All right, um, cool. If you haven't already, join my Discord. Um, I'll, I could post the link real quick, but, uh, most definitely join the Discord, jump on there with me, and uh, whatnot. Um, check out the group we have. We have a lot of really good builders on the Discord there. There's the link. Post that here shortly. There's the Discord link. If you aren't a part of Discord, jump in there and, uh, and do that. Alright, back to Stormworks. Okay. So, what am I doing here? What is this thing looking like? What are we what are we doing up here? Okay, that's that's not a bad line up there. I guess we'll continue that sort of pace here around the corner. What do I want to do with this? I might actually take that away instead. Eh. This is the problem with going from a pyramid to a whatever this is called. Or a triangle to a pyramid. I don't know. I'm not good with shapes either. Math, shapes, geometry. Yeah, I got nothing. I'm just a dude who plays Stormworks. I don't like that. That's... No. You know what? No. I don't like that at all. Can I do this? Would this look okay? I might be able to get away with that. Let's see. Let's see how that looks. Yeah, you know what? That's not that's not terrible. I can I can live with that for right now. I might change it as we progress here. Really got to take time here to uh, kind of make sure you're getting the the design that you want. So now I'm getting rid of these paint blocks in here because I know I don't I don't really need them because they're obsolete at this point. So I'll just replace those with real blocks for now. And then continue the process. So this is gonna be interesting. I don't want that to be pointy. But I might just have to make that pointy. No, you know what I'm gonna do here? This is gonna be interesting because I I want to have the an overhead panel here. So I'm going to make room for my overhead panel now. So when the time comes, I can put stuff up there. So, mm. that 
out. Mm. Not feeling this right now. Not feeling this at all. This may just have to be a, a big ass panel. There, you know what? I like that better. That's that makes me happier. Yeah, I like that a lot better. That's that's a good uh, little design we got going there. I still don't want, want this to be pointy. Though. This might just be a secondary kind of thing. Yeah, you know what? I'm okay with that. Yeah, I like that. That's starting to come together quite nicely. Uh, yeah, that's not bad. Oh, yeah. Yeah, why not? Jump in, definitely. I've got two people watching. That's cool. That's neat. How neat is that? That's pretty neat. Alright, what am I doing with this window? I don't, I don't know if I like this window. Um, if you didn't notice, I have symmetry mode on. I mean, I'm sure if you've played Stormworks, you know what that is, but if you if you don't really play often, then or if you have trouble building things, then symmetry mode is cool. The only time symmetry mode sucks is when you want to build something that's an even number wide as opposed to an odd number wide because these symmetry lines stretch right down the middle of a block and I wish we could double tap or something and it goes to the side so we could run it on the side of a block and have the center like that but I don't know Stormworks like really likes threes for some reason the number three everything's in threes so you got you know like your chairs your, your stairs your, your wheels your portholes your except the gearbox that's a two <laughs> Everything else, though, like motors and stuff, they just really like threes, like the spotlight or the searchlight, three by three, passenger, uh, three, I think it's three by three. They just love some serious three by three stuff. I don't, I don't get it, but that's okay. It's not, it's not terrible. Doesn't really have noise. Oh, okay. Yeah, no. Thank you for letting me know. I, I can't really hear it. So, um, let me, let me turn this down a little bit. And uh, let me know if that's any better um, as I continue placing blocks here. So this this block can go away because that's going to be obsolete here fully. Same with this one. And that one, that one, that one, that one. And so that's a window. So I'm going to have to make sure that that's a window. God damn it, Stormworks. Let me know if the, that volume is any better there, Mike. Appreciate you letting me know. Alright, so can I put a window? Ooh, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to... Let me finish this real quick first. And then I'll drop this in like so. Alright. Bam! Alright, come along quite nicely. So here I'm going to do something interesting. I'm going to... I don't... That's going to be really blocky. I don't know if I want to do that. Let's do this. Yeah, that's a good little progression there. That's not bad. I don't know if I love it. But I like it. It's got to count for something. Alright, we'll go with that for now. That's that's just gonna ha have to be how it how it is. That's just how the cookie's gonna crumble right now. Alright, so I know I had that window right there, so that's gonna be right around here. So I have to figure out somehow how am I gonna put a window right here? Let's do this. Let's take these away. Two, three. Take you away, you away, you away, and you away too. And we're gonna throw this sucker there in preparation for our corner window. Yeah, no. Ha ha. Ooh. Yes. No. Let's go down one more.
I suck at twisting things. Yes. You know what? Yes, I like this. This is, uh... That is nice. I don't know if I want it that far forward, but that's just kind of how it's going to work out. Right now. Let's see. Do we have those slanted ones? You know, they really need to work on their window selection. They did that update a little bit ago where they had a few more windows, and that, that was nice, but... It wasn't really what I wanted. Build a line on Yeah. Yeah, no. I just... This is like fine maneuvering here, if you would. Um, it just requires... Because I don't want to delete them anyway. That's why I'm not dragging them. Because I know I'm going to change them in like five seconds after I place them down. Turn the volume down a little bit more. Let me know if that's better for you. What am I doing? What What am I doing here? What's going on here? Well, that's where I want it. You know what else upsets me? They don't have windows like, like this right here. Like by itself. Like a, a side window. Triangle side window. That would be a nice thing to have. Mr. Dev. Mr. Stormworks. That would be cool if we could do that. But we can't. So, oh well. Let's just... That'll work for now. I might go back and change it later. I don't I don't really know. Um, and then this is going to bother me. If these had that white outline for too long, it's going to make me uneasy. All right, let's see. No, that's a two by two. I need a large one. Wow. All right, that's coming along quite nicely, I suppose. Hmm. So far, so good. So far, so good. All right. I don't like that. That's going to have to change. Let's go up one more. Oh, yeah, that was that, wasn't it? Mm hmm. Mm hmm. I had a feeling that was going to happen. I wish we had smaller blocks sometimes, I really do. Like that's that's just awkward. I don't like that. You know, I wish we had like window blocks like this, but just like a flat piece of block. Like not a window, but like the same size as that window. That would be a nice thing to have. This is just gonna have to be a freaking wall. God, it sucks. I don't like that one bit. I don't even know if I like this either. I don't want that to go away now. But there's a window there. Here, here's what we'll do. Here is what we will do. Let's use the 3 by 2 I don't know if I like that either. Whatever. Screw it. Just roll with it. Go back to it later. I just want to get it started for the most part here. All the detailing and stuff I'll put in later. I'll probably throw some paint box there, make it look like the door, make it open. Something along those lines. Uh, put this here. So this is going to be our gear well. Um, so there's actually going to be an opening here for the gears to come out. And stay there. Yeah, pretty much. You know, it's, it's 
you can never expect it to be perfect but I like it when it's almost perfect do I want to put actual moving windows and tracks and stuff in this thing again or do I want to just say screw it I may actually do it I might, I don't know I'm thinking about it like actual opening windows let's see it's a four, a four. what if we did the the old porthole that's close enough maybe I'll make them slide I, I don't know yet um, don't really need that on this side right now. That's the other downside of this, so now I don't have a picture on the other side, <laughs> so I can't really match up the door too easy. I'll probably put it just based off of pictures and stuff. Let's see what kind of uh, pictures we can get. I'm looking up images real quick at the 60. Alright, looks like just aft of the front starboard side wheel. The front wheel is there. So just aft of the wheel. The wheel is these bottom blocks. It's just aft of that. Yes, yeah, so it would be right about where this is. Let's go ahead and. Oop. No. Correction. I like this. I don't think I do. I'm just gonna have to suck it up. Maybe I'll do something different here real quick. Let me, let me try. Let me throw this together and see how I like this. It's not terrible. I don't hate that. That's kind of cool looking. Do your thing. Yeah, do your thing. Yeah, it's kind of cool looking. I kind of, 
I kind of like that. Alright, let's keep rolling then. Keep on rolling. Keep on pushing through. Yeah, this side looks all sorts of jacked up, which is fine, as expected. So our engine well is going to be chilling right around here. What I'm going to do is come out a little bit, and I'm going to, how about this, let's do one down, and one up under, bam. It's not going to be perfect. I think I'm actually going to have to drop this down one more. Well, it comes out a little bit, so let's do this. Let's come out one more. drop it in. Yeah, I'm not hating that either. It's not it's not terrible. Just for just to start gaming a look, let me throw in this little guy here. Where are you? This is where I start going off of the reservation here and just kind of make my own thing up. Yeah, <laughs> does not look like a Jayhawk. I don't know what it looks like, but it's not a Jayhawk. But that's okay, we'll roll with it. I think it needs to come out more, maybe. Yeah, maybe not. 
You know what? Let's do this. Let's fucking move this. Must this be so difficult? I hate this. Yeah, I absolutely hate this. Yep. Yep, I just... I'm not, I'm not really liking this very much right now. Welcome back. Let's go back a little bit. <laughs> the undo button. I'm so glad they added this. Sometimes I just like to start over a little bit here. <laughs> Sounds good, yeah. You wanna finish this for me? All of a sudden I'm not I'm not really feeling this anymore. Well you know what? That's fine. Let me at least update it real quick. Kinda show you some of the other stuff I've been working on here. I've been going through trying to make like a series of outboard engines that'll work separate from the entire boat, so you can literally just drag and drop. Put it on the boat, connect it, and call it a day. I'm um, working on a new color scheme for the 60 with two side doors. Uh, this is the old Jayhawk, the one that's currently functioning. Um, I like it. I think it's okay. It's not terrible. Uh, this is a new boat that I've been working on. Um, it's a customs and border protection, as you can read, kind of. Um, these screens are not hooked. i got to do something with this. Good thing going on here. Um, but it's it's a pretty pretty freaking cool boat. Let me uh, show you real quick. Whoa, bam! All right, cool. We're on the boat. Alright. 
This thing has a little, little Yamahas on it. Got our police lights flashing really fast. It steers pretty well. I like it. It's pretty stable. Um, it likes to lean into its uh, into its turns there. And it can go fairly quickly. Um, don't have a speed readout on it yet, but it's not terrible. But I'm still kind of working on it right now. It's got it's got some things I got to add to it. Um, she likes to slow down after a while. It's kind of sucky, but it'll really turn. Like I said, very stable though. Other than that part. So. Struggling. Struggling through. But yeah, it's a nice little response boat. So this is going to be a part of a, a vehicle pack, kind of like ART, um, where you know I had a bunch of different vehicles all with the same logos and, and such. Um, so this is going to be a CBP. Uh, pack here. I'm going to try to make some missions that are kind of law enforcement related. Um, so those would be kind of neat to have. Um, so this boat is all blue. In, in America, any law enforcement vessel will have only blue lighting. Um, unlike as you go through these big country, the lights for like police cars and stuff will change, and fire trucks. Like you go to like New York State, and police cars have all red and white. And then you go to somewhere like Florida, and it's like red and blue, or Texas, red and blue, or Virginia, all blue. Which it kind of changes per agency. It's it's very strange because we have, you know, we don't really have like a national police department that goes around and polices the streets. It's all localities, uh, small small like town town agencies and sheriff's offices and things like that so it changes from from agency and department to agency department um, but on the waterways every agency and department will have blue every single one that's a federal standard so. um, but this is a federal agency this is a federal police department technically but it's has a sp specific purpose other than policing the streets so, yeah, it's a cool, neat little boat. It's got um, all of our, you know, grip tape and everything. Fuel, fuel port. Um, it's got a heater in case you want to take it up, up north. Got some scuba gear. If you want to use that. Um, the cabin lights are kind of cool. Oh, that's that's why. Okay, so yeah, we got our cabin lights in here. Little red lights um, that light up at nighttime. I'm gonna go ahead and make it night real quick. And all right, cool. Yeah, this is kind of cool looking. Yeah, nice little boat. Throwing nav lights on. There are running lights. This thing does not go backwards very well, as I'm currently finding out. You really got to inch it nice and easy backwards. Can't do anything crazy. So this one's gonna have the readouts. Um, like your speed and depth and everything, and then this is the camera, which um, which you can move. Oh wait, do I not have it? Oh, I don't have it hooked up yet. Oops, that's awkward. Um, so all this right here, video channel feed, etc. Um, you're gonna be able to change this screen. Uh, so if you're playing with friends and stuff, and they have the airplane or the helicopter, um, you'll be able to switch to their camera and kind of watch yourself from their view. Uh, if you guys are like chasing down a boat or something. It's got an IR strobe on the top here. You can't see it because it's all infrared. Uh, where it says IFF, that's a that's a strobe light for infrared. Um, so that's kind of neat. And then uh, of course you got our, our blue lights. So I like these these new tiny spotlights. They're great for emergency lighting and stuff. So but yeah, overall so far it's a good boat. I'm gonna make a couple more um, of various sizes. Oh hello, all right. Yeah, various sizes and and with various utilities and such. So that will be that will be fun. <laughs> yeah.
Yeah, it's funny how different police agencies change from country to country. Um, this is my Charleston, South Carolina pilot boat. I don't know if you guys have seen it yet. Um, it's a good boat to actually use for career mode. I've been messing with it in career mode. Um, and I, I really like it so far. I just the, the interior, the cockpit and everything kind of suck right now. I'm working on these new screens that they don't have it in the uploaded version. Um, but hopefully here soon it will. Um, the engine or the inside compartment, you got all your gear and everything you could need, med bed. Um, and then we got our engine room back aft here. It's got fire suppression. It's got a nice little light. You can come in and out through these hatches if you need to. Twin diesels. Um, they soak up some fuel, but that's fine. You've got like 20,000, I guess, I don't know, kilograms of fuel. I don't know how they weigh fuel in this game. I don't know if it's per volume or what it is. Um, yeah. I like career mode. I've been playing this in career mode. It's kind of fun. I just wish it would spawn your missions uh, that you can make. Like you, you can add them to your game and it'll spawn them. Why is that that color? There we go. That's fixed. Save that. Save. Yep. And then uh, what else do I have here? Um, now I got this pilot boat. St. David pilot. Pilot response. Pilot rescue. Um, so this this boat really handles really nice. I really like this boat. I liked how this one turned out. I actually got to drive one of these in real life. Uh, not this specific one, not the St. John's, but the Virginia class, uh, Gladden Hearn 53. It is a it is a cool boat. Um, if you ever get the chance to be on one, they are great boats. Very versatile, and they don't take any shit from the ocean. It's like fuck you waves. Am I not supposed to say bad words on here? I don't know. Oh well. Oh yeah, so I need to drop this into synchronized steerage, throttle sync. Because I've got it right now where you can do neutral steering. Uh, so if we come out here, I'll show you what that is. Basically you can work your forward and left, um, or your arrow keys and your WS, and you can essentially steer the boat like that. So I'm kind of right engine forward, left engine reverse, and the boat will just kind of spin. So it's a, it's a nice little maneuverability thing to have. Um, you can sink the throttles and you can just kind of roll out of here. So yeah, so this boat drives really nice as well. Um, I like it. I'm a fan. So, good, good little boat. And then, uh, of course, you know, we can, where's our cabin lights at? Yeah, so we can come down here and go down into the cabin. Very similar to the other one, you've got your gear in here. Arctic gear and diving gear. Um, I don't have any firefighting gear to deal with it. But essentially the exact same engine room on this one. Because I just didn't want to make a whole other engine room. And pretty much these are all the same uh, manufacturer anyway. The Charleston pilot boat and this pilot boat. Same manufacturer. Uh, but this is a great, another great boat for for career mode. Um, you got plenty of storage space, you got plenty of room to put people. It's enclosed, you don't have to worry about tipping over or sinking. Or spotlight. Spotlight looks good on this boat. Yep, so another good boat for uh, for career mode. If you it's on the workshop if you want to download it. Well, that's pretty cool you got to drive one of those. Driving police boats I'm sure is a fun experience. Alright, hard to starboard. A little bow thruster action in there too. Oh yeah, that sucker turned right around. Nice. Yeah, it says bow thrusters too. Uh, most of the pilot boats have bow thrusters that I've that I've made. Um, they're a nice little thing to have. I need to add radar to these boats. I think I'm going to be adding lidar actually to these boats. Um, but I'm not going to be doing it myself. I'll probably steal someone's lidar and obviously give them credit when I upload it to the workshop. But um, I found this uh, this LiDAR system. Um, it seems like it works pretty well from what I've seen on the 
workshop. I have yet to really play with it, um, unfortunately. Haven't put it on anything yet. I don't remember who made it. Hang on a second. I'll tell you. It's, it's like number one on the workshop right now. Um, yeah, so it was made by... Made by... Geekness. Imagine. Imagine that. Geekness is good at scripting. Lua. Good job, Geekness. It looks great. I'm proud of you, bud. Uh, what's the name of which boat? Here's a Galveston, Texas pilot. It's essentially very similar to the other ones. Um, got some ladders, step ladders here. Uh, this one's named Texas. Imagine that. Galveston, Texas, yeah. The same interiors, no seats. I don't feel like throwing seats in. Um, this is a neat boat that we've been working on, buddy of mine. He's, he, he did the most work on this. I kind of stabilized it. Um, fast patrol boat, minesweeping boat. Um, it is it is quite fast, and it is quite quiet. It's a stealth boat, obviously. Uh, sounds pretty sweet. This is the new MRG cargo ship that I've been working on. I have yet to uh, finish it, but it is massive, and I need to finish it. You can see our little Jacob's Ladder here, and our tug contact points on the side, obviously. Uh, I'm pretty proud of this right here. You got rust stains. <laughs> yeah. I got rust stains on this. Like, I gotta finish this thing. It's not done yet. Uh, nothing, nothing up here is hooked up. I gotta, I gotta start hooking stuff up. I just don't really feel like it. Um, it's got a nice little set of uh, floors here. It's essentially the same as the old MRG boat uh, cargo ship, except uh, a little bit more cargo space. The towers moved aft a lot further. Um, this ain't hooked up yet. Yeah, I just I have so much to do, and I just haven't done it yet. Um, yeah, so but that'll be a nice little boat when it's hooked up. Yeah. Yeah. No, I'm I'm telling you, man, tugboat guys are are some badass dudes. They can uh, they do some really sketchy stuff sometimes, and they do it with with uh, very fine maneuvering. They're very good at their jobs, that's for sure. Yeah, yeah not much more that I've really been working on. I got this little thingy. <laughs> I like this thing. But it sucks. So, no. But, just trying to make a little center console. <laughs> Pretty sure this thing just drops to the water. Yeah, that's a looks like a beginner boat. I like it. This is gonna be a uh, MRG ship, but I just didn't like the the design. Uh, the whole the whole design is great, like the bow and everything. I loved it. The inside I might make this like a big like grain thing, or maybe open up my build area again and and stretch it out pretty far. It's got it's got a nice tower design here. So I like this one. I just haven't done anything with it yet. It's got those twin, twin rivers on each side. There are twin uh, props on each side, which would be really cool for driving the boat and such. So yeah, so that's kind of what I've been working on. You know, keep in touch, keeping, uh, keeping busy. But yeah. You just gotta build stuff, man. You, you you don't just like I don't know. My, some of my first creations just suck. You know, like like this thing. It's obviously it's beginner mode before they made advanced, but like this thing looks stupid. It's a little police boat. You know, it's just basic, super basic. Um, but hey, you know what? Like that's that's where I started out was like making stupid stuff like that. Like um, this thing looks terrible. I think it looks terrible. The Conceito. I think the writing looks great, but everything else just looks terrible. And like this basic fire boat here. Actually, this one's kind of cool. This is when I started getting better, slowly but surely, I think. I think. I mean, I don't know. It's got like a thousand buttons to choose from, you know. 
But you gotta build something. You gotta find something you wanna build. And then just make it better. I mean, that's that's the goal. You know, like, this is one of my first helos. It didn't start out looking like this. It started out looking like something completely different. I'm pretty sure I deleted it. But it, it was... It's just a, a basic... Basic ass bitch. That's what it is. Um, and it works. This was the pilot boat. Same same boat. Same concept. Same design. Um, but it just doesn't look like the one I have now. Like the bow shape, for instance, right? It's got like this weird like this thing going on, you know. And then you go to like the new one I made, and it's the same boat. Are supposed to be the same boat, but you can see the bow design is a lot better now. Same with the stern, you know? It doesn't look as stupid as that other one did. But it took me a while to get there. This boat, I'm pretty proud of this one. I'm, I'm I really, I love this boat. I put a lot of time into this boat. Um, a lot of detail into this boat. So much detail. And uh, I really like it. It's a good boat. Really good boat. Yeah, the bridge is pretty sweet. This one's on the workshop as well. Uh, but once again, I have to update it. You know, I have to take these stupid screens out and put in real ones. Ones that work. You know? Yeah, sure, Mike. What's up? Nice. That's a that's a good tactic right there. You've got you've got the tactic down. The Cessna looks good so far. But that's I mean that's how I build stuff that I, I'm struggling with. You know, just kind of whipping the design out of my ass. I, I struggle with it, so I I um I import it, and that's how I get the design I want. You know, like this thing. That's this is how I built this. I the same way. I just had the design, and I built it and put it in there and bam there it was so but uh yeah pretty much all I got right now I'm proud of this boat too if you haven't seen this buoy tender go check it out it's big it goes fast it's got buoys if you want to drop some buoys in the water it's got some big old red and green buoys labeled one and two You can pick them up with the crane. But, uh, I like this boat. Actually, there was a guy, if you go in the comment section for this boat on the workshop, there's a guy who's actually on this boat. And, uh, he was, he was pretty excited to see the Juniper. He thought it was awesome. I thought that was pretty cool. That I made the boat he, he was on. So, obviously he said the interior was completely off. And a lot more spacious. <laughs> but, uh. That's okay. Not all this stuff that you see in here is mine. Like this, this is White Noise made this for MRG. Um, this is a really cool helo. Um, it's not uploaded anywhere, but uh, we'll see. Let's see if I decide to upload it. You can see the ART tents here. Too, oh, too big. Oops. Got all sorts of stuff. Got tents, campfires for missions and stuff that I made. So much crap. So much crap. Yeah. I need to go back and finish this this CGC forty one. I've been, been avoiding it. Oh, here's a little sneak peek for you. This is a little drug run submarine. Semi truck. I'm not big into driving or making vehicles. Like I, I made those trucks for ART, but they're just so pointless. I think. I mean, you know what I mean? Like, it, it, what you, the, just vehicles and or trucks and stuff in Stormworks are just pointless, unless they're like fuel trucks. But then even then, you can't transport fuel. You still need a ship to do that. So. I said it once, I'll say it again. Stormworks build and rescue, not Stormworks build locomotives and transport stuff two miles. This game is about boats and rescuing people. That's it.
completing missions, being creative, doing stuff like that. But yeah, well, it's been about an hour, so I'll probably jump off now. Appreciate you guys sticking with me here on the stream. Hope uh, hope you learned something. If not, I don't care. Whatever. Yeah, bro. But, uh, yeah, like I said, thanks for jumping on. I'll, I'll probably jump on to this again one of these days and show you some progress. I have I have a fuel truck for ART that, that has fuel in it. Um, let's see if I can't pull it up here. Yeah, ART jet fuel and ART diesel fuel truck. Diesel. Bunch of fuel in here. And then, uh, obviously the jet fuel is the exact same one, except it's got this on it, because I didn't feel like making a jet fuel one. So. So, yeah, man. But, uh, I'll catch you guys later.